Let's take a look at the volume column over here to the right of the book map chart. We'll right click here and we're going to insert a new column. Okay, and in that new column, let's right click again. And from the data types that you can see here, let's select volume. Okay, it shows up as CVP, which is chart range volume profile. The chart range volume profile here is giving me the volume profile for everything that is viewable within my chart range. So if I zoom in, you can see now that the profile uh, reflects the data that is within my visible chart. If I zoom back out, I have more data and therefore the profile is giving me the data for this chart range. Let's right click again here and you can see that I have different options now uh, because I've selected a volume column here. I have the chart range volume profile and session accumulated as well. Let's click on session. Okay, and now it shows up as SVP, which stands for Session Range Volume Profile. So this is giving me the profile from the entire session since when I opened up Bookmap. Let's right click again and uh, we'll go through some of the configuration details here. You have the visual options here to show the bid or just show the ask. You can also show the view app line, which is this white line here. In the session range volume profile only, do you have the option here to show the point of control on the chart, which shows this blue line here for me. This is the historical point of control. That you can change the colors here. You also have the options for the displaying the data only as bars or bars and numbers or numbers only. Let's go back to bars and numbers. Now the styling options down below you can split out the data to show the aggressor. The red is the aggressive market sell volume. The green is the aggressive market buy volume. Okay, you can inverse it as well. Uh, or uh, if you want to see it as a composite profile, you have options for alignment to the left, to the center, or to the right. 